You might have heard that the only constant thing in life is change. Don't know who quoted that, but let's talk about change. This past weekend, I was in Phoenix, Arizona, and I saw for the first time a truly driverless car, an autonomous vehicle, an Uber-like passenger car, but without any driver in it. The very first chance that I got, I signed up for it, and before you knew it, I had booked a ride of my own. By no means is this a review of Waymo. Anyways, I booked a service and I waited in the parking lot and before you knew it, the completely autonomous vehicle pulled into the parking lot and the rest of the experience between me getting in and getting dropped off was meh. Nothing to complain about, nothing weird, nothing ab abnormal, no harsh braking, no harsh accelerations, no weird accidents. Um, Again, this is not a complete review of the way more. I can save that for a separate video, but this is about the change, the change that I think is coming, the change that is almost always inevitable in society. What do you do when a change this big is knocking on your door? Of course, we are not experiencing this change in the automotive world right now, but we are starting to experience a crazy change with the advent of the artificial intelligence. So how do you deal with change? It can be a huge change in your social life. It can be a huge change in your faith-based life. It can be a complete change in your family structure. How do you deal with change? That is what I'm trying to drive home here because frankly, I have no idea. The only experience that I can draw from that can allow me to figure out how to deal with major changes is adaptation. For example, when I first moved from Mozambique, to the United States, that was a huge cultural change. I had moved before from one culture to another, different languages, different food, different music and everything. And so that was not the first time that I had to change. So when I moved from Mozambique to the States, this was another change, but I had gone through a cultural change before. I knew that food is gonna be different. I knew that music is gonna be different. I knew that customs and norms would be slightly different, language different. So I had gone through that transition before. What I haven't gone through is a societal change like the one that we might start to see with the advent of AI and autonomous vehicles. I don't really know how to address it. But conceptually and in practice, I know that adapting is one of the ways to handle change. So for me, when it comes to adapting new tech, I'm all for it, but not necessarily in other areas. I wonder what was happening to society when cars started to take over. All of a sudden you have roads, you have entire industries that are tailored towards the vehicle industry, something, something that wasn't there before. Tons of people probably lost jobs. Tons of people made new forms of income because of the, auto, of the automobile. Same for airplanes too. Today there's entire industries that revolve around the airplane, but it, at the beginning of it, I wonder if you had the naysayers, like there is no way we were, this whole airplane thing is ever gonna come to fruition. But here we are today. Let's say maybe some of the early commercial airlines, people were like, those that are riding in this airplane thing, they must be out of their marbles. How can you get into a tube and just be suspended in the air, not suspended, but and just and just travel through the air with no with nothing holding you up one thing i do know though is that change is constant how do you deal with change if you got value from this video give it a like i want to know your thoughts down below my name is moses and i'll see you in the next one peace